Maybe it's just me. I would imagine if I was a politician, if I was Boris Johnson, I want people to wear a mask, right? And I'd want to get them on board. I would just tell them, hey, if you commit to wearing a mask and saying, you know, and actually abiding by social distancing rules, you know, not going to visit your friends and throwing house parties and stuff, we could get this knocked. We could knock this out of the park and then we could probably have realistically rescue our summer by, by July. That could be an optimistic goal, right? And then you have everybody working together for a common good, um, banding together, um, sort of helping each other out to make sure they got things under control. But there was no, none, of, none, no such incentive was there. And it's a common thing that you do, even if you have a diet, right? I'm on a diet at the moment, and I have a cheat day on a Saturday. That's when that's when I kind of pig out and you know carb load and go and eat all the you know processed stuff that I want to eat. That's a little reward you give yourself so that the days that you're fed up of eating chicken and broccoli, you have something to look forward to. You have an incentive to sort of like do it for one more day, two more days, three more days until you hit Saturday, right? You do that to yourself. So why couldn't the government do that to us? Why couldn't it give us a little incentive? Like, oh, hey, guys, if you do this, we're going to, I don't know, we're going to enact this uh, tax policy change. We're going to find we're going to put this amount of money into the NHS, this amount of money into social services, whatever it may be, something to give people some sort of incentive, some sort of common goal to reach for. But instead, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. But again, what do I know? And I'm just a, I'm just a random guy from a random place talking Ivy's arsehole. Next one. We have a journalist in California who decided to go on an absolute epic rant regarding the dire state uh, the dire state that California is in at the moment um, with COVID. It seems like they had no cases. I heard a lot of people bragging in the LA scene, especially the comedy scene, about how low the numbers were. And this is when Brendan Shaw, the absolute savant that he is, was going on and like, I'm a numbers guy. The numbers are so low. <laughs> now look, look how far the numbers are spiked, mostly because of the protests and mostly because of the relaxed um, lockdown rules. The numbers are spiked up super sky high and they're probably going to have to go and lock under lockdown or they're going to have to rein in the easing of the lockdown somewhat in the similar sense of what happened in Texas. And this journalist um, perfectly, 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 perfectly um, sort of encapsulate the current sentiment amongst some people that live in California regarding the absolute horror show that they have done in order to keep the virus at bay. After waiting for two hours and now getting two minutes, I'll get right to the point. Uh, this board is pretending that for the last three months, your emperor, Dr. Levin, has not been against a mask declaration. Now, all of a sudden, we're pretending that masks are everything, even forcing <laughs> speakers to use masks. I would like the board to take a position. Was Dr. Levin wrong for those three months? That's a good and if question. he was this wrong, why has he not been removed? Why has he not been fired for being so catastrophically wrong? And I wonder, right? I really do wonder, governments around the world that have done a really crappy job when it comes to COVID-19, will they be held accountable by their citizens for the poor job they've done? Especially the ones that were so hard. I, I don't mind if you were like confused or you weren't sure about the science and you're trying to get a grip on the numbers and you're just trying to weigh out your options. And even what um, Sweden done with the herd immunity, I don't really mind that. They were quite quick out of the gates in terms of saying here's our approach we're going to ascribe with the herb immunity approach and if it works out for us it works out but this is what we're going to commit to doing and they knew the pros and knew the cons and they went with it fine it's this sort of like um non-action right this sort of like uh pretending you're doing something like ruffling you know just kind of fiddling around with papers sort of mucking around on the shelf reorganizing a set of all a war of trainers to make it look like you're busy that is the annoying part of it are they going to be held accountable by their citizens? They actually should. But I'm wondering if once COVID is eased, eased down, once COVID is kind of settled down and maybe there's a vaccine on the way and lockdown gets eased, people will be so tired and so bored about talking about COVID-19. They're just going to move on with their lives. They don't want to revisit it. So they won't get held, held accountable. But I'm hoping that there's a small minority of people out there that are going to hold these officials feet to the fire and demand some kind of change right look at my finger i'm even doing the politician thing if you're not watching i'm doing a little thumb thing that politicians do so they don't point or do you not really believe he was wrong you're just wearing these masks because it is a signal of your great virtue <laughs> damn damn because for the last three months we have not worn them and Ventura county has done outstandingly well 
and continues to do outstandingly well because we are not Los Angeles, we are not New York City, we never were going to be any of those things. Ironically, this is one of the few things Dr. Levin was actually right about. <laughs> he has been wrong about everything. He is the one who told us we would have four to 600 hospitalizations a day. He, he, he revised that to two to 400 a day. We still haven't reached that in one day. We're barely over 200 for the entire ordeal that you guys have put us through. We now have panicked over 51 total hospitalizations in a county with eight hospitals. Can you people do math? Can you please do basic math and understand where we are on this? This is not a crisis. You, however, have created one. You, in an effort to try to prevent all death, when we've had 43 deaths, have now ended all relevant life. And you should all be ashamed of yourselves. And this will never be forgotten. Oh, ever be comes forgotten. a warning. We'll all be held accountable eventually, in this life or the next. You all better hope there is no hell, because when you die, that's where you're going. And guess what? You're not going to be dying of COVID either. Man. Mama mia, brother. <laughs> absolute fire flames right now okay i get the anger i get the frustration but my only problem i don't know i don't have a problem with it i guess the thing that is most egregious i guess about the whole situation especially for some states or for some places in the uk or for some places in the world that have done a really poor job is the lack of force some of the governments have kind of you know enforced a lockdown right they haven't they've been a bit wishy-washy um if they just would have said hey we're gonna have a short strict lockdown right two months of absolute solidarity we'll fight towards a com we'll aim towards a common goal no exception to anybody if you get caught breaking the rules you'll be punished or you'll be fined whatever it may be right some um you know some level of scrutiny will be placed against you know a guy like Cummings wouldn't be in a job like those kind of things you send a clear message like you know everyone gets treated equally in this situation people will band band around together and you could probably sort it out in a couple of months you could probably get a good a better handle on it than you can now it's just such a bizarre honestly I'm just I'm just perplexed anyway in general I think the virus is what it is but it's just the handling of it is like it's as if like I don't know it's as if like they have no crisis management training whatsoever and that must be something that should be at the top of the list when you become a public official. Like I said, like anybody, anybody knows it's no, there's no skill or experience needed to cut a bit of ribbon to announce the opening of a flipping, you know, shopping mall. Anyone can do that. But it's how you handle crisis that should determine, you know, how you're remembered as a politician or as a public official. That should be how you are remembered really and truly. You know, how did you serve your citizens in the good and most importantly in the bad? What can you do?